In this video we are using Substance 3D Sampler to create the design stonewall material in minutes. Let's build this stonewall material together. We'll also explore ways to tweak and edit the material. We're using a base material as starting point. To add it we click on the add a base material button on top of the layer stack. Let's tweak the color first and make it rougher to match a more structured wall surface. Now we build the base wall structure with a surface relief filter. We click on the add a layer button, typing in surface and choose surface relief. As type we take directional and use a scale of 2. Let's blur it for a nice and smooth directional flow. Further we adjust the horizontal amount to 2. This is nice to break up the flow of the line slightly. Then we increase the contrast. To bring in big waves deformation details we use a warp filter. We switch to directional warp, tweak the intensity and adjust the warp angle to not just warp it horizontally. As noise we take purlin with a smaller scale and blur it slightly. To get a nice AO map we use the height to AO filter. Let's tweak the intensity and choose uniform distribution for a smoother look. While we're at it, we should rename the material and save the project. I recommend doing this from time to time. Then to break up the surface slightly with smaller details, we take another warp filter with a small intensity. As noise, we use BNW with a higher scale. This gives us some nice variation. Right now, the peaks and dents are really smooth. We see this here in the height map. To make them more sharp, we use a channel switch filter. Let's take AO as input and height as output to copy the AO onto the height channel. To also have the sharp structure in the normals, we use the height to normal filter and tweak the intensity slightly. Further, we bring in some more of the smoother normal from before. To get a bit more roughness variation for peaks and dents, we take another channel switch filter. We use again the AO as input and this time roughness as output. Because we want to have it rougher in the dance, we subtract it. Let's take a small intensity to make it not too strong. As final filter we use dust. We reduce the density and opacity to make it less visible. To break up the pattern we increase transition noise all the way up and reduce the contrast to zero. This results in a smooth dust effect. To check the result in different lighting conditions, we can choose between several different environment lights, till we find one that looks great. With shift and right mouse button we control the environment rotation. Here's our final result. You can save this setup as sampler archive to tweak the layers at a later time, use Sentu to send it directly to another Substance app, export it as SBSAR for other 3D apps and engines or just export it to texture files. There's a way to get this material into every 3D software. If you want to experiment and learn more, you can download the file shown in the video. Thanks for watching and let us know any ideas or suggestions in the comments. See you in the next episode.